Hello there, just another friendly reminder that absolutely no one likes your football club. Let's start with some facts here. In a 2011 poll, Manchester United were officially crowned the most hated company in Britain. They pipped Ryanair to top spot, which means that people actually prefer being stopped via fetal position into a plane with Dave from Bolton and his friends on their way to a stag in Krakow than Manchester United. Part of the many, many reasons for this is that no one likes Manchester United's owners. When John McClurick came to take over in 2005, we knew things would probably have their rocky moments. But in actual fact, little did we know how much joy moments like this would bring to our lives. I'm so sorry about that, that which is totally unacceptable and uh, I'm sorry about that. Now Manchester United fans say no one likes them because their fan base is so gigantic. Take this survey last year for example, which claimed that 1.1 billion people support Manchester United. Let that sink in for a moment, I, I know a lot of people are fans of Manchester United, but that is one in every seven human beings on planet Earth. If you are to believe this survey, then there are probably kids in the uncontacted Amazonian tribes currently running around in the new United away jersey. Now, some Manchester United fans claim that no one likes their football team because everybody's basically just jealous of their success. And who could argue with that? Take October 2014, when Manchester United manager Louis van Gaal thumped Jose Mourinho in a hashtag Google trend battle for the ages. Who could forget when Jesse Lingard beat YouTuber Cal Freezy in a blindfolded penalty shootout last year? So and what about their most recent success? Odeon Agallo, trending number one when he signed up to play in the Theatre of Dreams. But despite all that, you just can't make Manchester United fans happy. Now, if we take a look at Twitter in recent weeks, you might have seen that Edwin van der Sar letter to Manchester United to tell them to take care of Donny van der Beek. Mike Phelan then responded with as boring a response as you can possibly conjure, a thumbs up. But yet, Mike Phelan's mentions. Sign Sancho, big man, said this tweeter. Sancho, Mike. Sancho. Where the fuck's Sancho, bro? Sign Sancho now. Hello, Mike. Can you please let Ed Woodward know that he is a useless piece of shit and Muppet for the Leeches Glazers? And can you please make them sign more quality players? You can pass them through the Mickey Feeling test too. Hashtag Glazers out. And at Mason underscore season said, Bye, Sancho, Region and Upamecano. Sell, Smalling, Jones, Rocco, Pereira and Lingard. It really is that simple. Breaking news this morning. Ed Woodward has handed in his badge. Mason underscore season has taken over as executive vice chairperson of Manchester United Football Club. You know what else everybody hates about Manchester United? Their constant battle to save human civilization. Remember when X-Men called up Manchester United to prevent the apocalypse? We're looking for a particular group of mutants to help us defeat apocalypse. We need a mutant with incredible reflexes. How about David De Gea? Thank you, Hank. I was thinking more like Nightcrawler. You see, Manchester United fans, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, too much of a chicken to drop David De Gea. James McAvoy, not a bother on him. Finally, we need someone with intensity and incredible focus. Wait, I've got it. Cyclops. Actually, Hank, I'm thinking of a different mutant. Hello, old friend. Hello, Charles. Wayne Rooney? That's right. Wayne Rooney in a full kit and a pair of runners is the only way that human civilization can be saved. Now, if you thought that existential threat was bad, well, I have some terrible news. Aliens are about to invade. And in Independence Day resurgence, I'm afraid to tell you that they have turned to all of our saviours. That's right. The Manchester United team of 2016. This is a day of history in the making as Legacy Squadron is about to take to the skies. You guys are footballers. What makes you think you could take on an alien army? We won 20 league titles and 12 FA Cups. Four league cups and 20 community shields. Quite how NASA overlooked the fact that Chris Smalling and Daley Blind couldn't stop West Ham from scoring three goals, let alone stop aliens from invading Earth, is never made clear in this instance. You can't hold them back forever. Great shot. Nice battle, boys, but the war isn't over. We've still got a game to get to. I unfortunately have more bad news. There is one more threat, possibly the biggest threat of all. Guys, we have a problem. The boss said that a new devil is arriving. 
And what did they say about him? They say he is a legend. You have to say fair play to Wayne Rooney here. He's saved the world from the apocalypse, he's saved the world from an alien invasion, and now he's saved the world from a very threatening Cabernet Sauvignon. Forget Oxford, forget Russia, Wayne Rooney is the guy we need working on our COVID vaccine. We need to talk about Manchester United's mascot. We need to talk about Fred the Red. Like, we all know that Fred the Red is a creep. And you can tell that all the Manchester United managers have always hated him, although you can tell here that Manchester United fans do love him. The club had full scope here on creating a mascot based on a devil. Any sort of terrifying, satanic figure could have been invented here as your mascot. Instead, what Manchester United came up with is what looks like a mildly threatening antagonist from Alvin and the Chipmunks. The South Park devil minus the Saddam Hussein part would have been a better devil. Finally, let's talk about Manchester United celebrity fans. Ian Brown is a Manchester United fan. He tends to watch Manchester United matches between shouting on Twitter things like You won't be pepper spraying my kids or shooting your poison into their bodies. Nobody is no fucker to tell you to wear a mask. And every member of parliament trips on glue. My point here is that nobody likes celebrity Manchester United fans. Shane Ward is a celebrity Manchester United fan, also known as the Federico Macheda of the music world because it's always surprising when you realise he still has a career. Just kidding, No You Hang Up was an absolute belter and I paid 99 cent for it on iTunes. And finally, Dominic Monaghan is a celebrity Manchester United fan. Here he is with Juan Mata. Here he is with Jesse Lingard. And here is Ruud van Nistelrooy disgustingly presenting him with a jersey with a derogatory phrase on the back. Poor from van Nistelrooy there, really kind of sums up the class, or lack thereof, that exists at Manchester United.